Water woes continue for the Navy. Because of a mistake in quality tests near Fentress Field, they have to take dozens more samples. This all links back to a nationwide investigation we've been telling you about with links to Chesapeake, one that has neighbors worried about how safe their well water is to use. 10 on your side's Liz Palka has been following up on the efforts to make sure that you're safe. Liz. Anita and Tom, I talked to quite a few residents today. None of them are part of this second round of testing, which the Navy says is policy after an error was discovered. Testing and now more testing. That's what will continue at some properties around Naval Auxiliary Landing Field Fentress. The Navy said in a statement Friday it has started notifying 12 property owners in the Chesapeake neighborhood seeking permission to sample drinking water from private wells to test for perfluorinated compounds or PFCs. That's a chemical that was formerly used in firefighting foam at Fentress. An error at one previously tested well was discovered this week. The Navy says levels at that property are still low, but that water now needs to be monitored. And by policy, properties within a half mile radius must also be tested. The first round of testing happened in February after the Navy said water sampled from Fentress had tested for PFCs. Water from 53 surrounding properties was sampled, with two of those testing above EPA advisory levels. That means people at those properties can't drink the water. In the last months, informational meetings have been held for residents, water has been given to people affected, and a water fill station has been set up. The Navy says the additional testing will start this coming Tuesday, and property owners will be individually notified of the results in early June. I'm Liz Pelka, 10 on your side.